Hi everyone, it's Margaret here. I'm the oldie in the gym, or gym mum as some people call me. I may not be as agile or strong as the 20 year old young men, but hopefully I bring a bit more experience. I am qualified in preschool gymnastics and recreational gymnastics. Although I have done some trampolining courses, I'll leave the bouncing to the youngsters. I've always worked with children and love the preschool. Their learning curve is so steep and they achieve it so quickly. You can see the confidence grow in the progression that they make. Well, what about me? I'm a mum of three grown up children and a granny to two little boys that I love dearly and see quite often. I've run a guide unit for many years, taking the girls away to camping and doing activities and things with them, as well as normal week weekly meetings, although that stopped at the moment as well. And I'm a member of my local church, which takes up quite a bit of my time. I enjoy all sorts of crafts, knitting, sewing. Many of you have seen my leotards on the rack and the gym. How did I get into gymnastics? Well, I was never a gym last. It was all my daughter's fault. She got hooked on the sport when she was young and joined a competition group just before she was six. As she wanted to be there more and more hours, so was I, and eventually I was asked to help. Well, nearly 25 years later, I'm still here. Competition gym is hard and at a very young age, and I've seen it get harder and harder through the years. The children have to learn hard skills and have to achieve them by a certain age. It requires a lot of hard work, effort and dedication and very few get to the top. Which is why I like recreational gymnasts. For 99% of the children, recreational is the way they want to go. They can learn in their own speed, at their own time and can achieve whenever it gets there. We started at a club at the other side of Bristol where I've been coaching for 13 years and managed the club for nine years with the day-to-day -day running, the accounts, the wages and the ordering, etc. Then with the change of directors, it all changed. And that's where Ollie came in. At that time, I had his daughter in my class in the gym. And he was talking about moving his trampoline club to a new location and starting gymnastic classes. And that's how I came to Access. Looking forward to starting a new venture, feeling wanted again. And the Access always focused on the children, which is what the atmosphere I wanted to work in. Access was sparse. It was a large building with trampolines and a floor and very little equipment and was very cold. Over the next few years, Ollie and Steve worked incredibly hard and built and bought bits of equipment. I can't fault their enthusiasm. The gym was constantly changing and growing. That was five and a half years ago. Recreational gymnastics is for school aged children but it's a lot more than just learning gymnastic skills. It builds up coordination, balance, confidence, body control, strength and flexibility, and will give them a good start in whatever it is they decide to do in life. It's a simple formula. If they enjoy it, they'll learn. They get frustrated sometimes, but it gives them challenges. And the challenges need to be achievable and not too easy. Recognising each child is different, has different ability and talents. This keeps my job a challenge. How can I help the child to do the skill they are struggling with? I would like to think that I help children shape their future, just a bit, giving them the courage to try whatever they want to do. It's great when someone says, hello, on the street, followed by, you taught me gymnastics when you were a child, I was a child. They still remember. Hopefully all the children remember a positive experience. I must confess, I've enjoyed having a little bit of extra time over the last couple of months. 
But I'm now ready to get back and I hope you all are too. I hope you've missed us at Access. I've missed the friendliness of the coaches and above all the children and of course the parents. I hope everybody is keeping well and the fun will start again soon. So bye for now. Hopefully see you all soon. Cheerio.